So I will start with reminding uh, the last result about three gender homomorphism. So as in the previous lecture, G is a basic classical and I just put on the bottom of the which is poorly even. Some of the installation on the star. Yes, we are. We must be a fiber. When two elements here bind the same fiber, this is not good. The image, the image consists of three elements which are constant. Exactly. So, so the image consists of three elements which are constant. Basically, you take the motion by two elements. Right? No, I'm really, I'm really describing the previous classes, right? Which are three. Yeah, because this formula, alpha 1, alpha p, it is the fixed such set, or you say union over all such set. So you see, it, it, it is going to happen automatically, because you apply the shift ah, detection of the wire Okay, so, so if you couple any element, any lambda in the fiber, uh, then you can find the number of future values of the fibers, Zero. So we pick up the maximum set of such a That gives, and you consider a fine plane lambda in the direction of this roots, and you uh, separate the direction of W, and you get the fine. Okay? So, so it is maximum. You get the yes, as it should be maximum set. So this is maximum. Universal development part, uh, uh, universal development algebra for the even part. 
So in this sense, this question is not very interesting because all questions about representations of given central character can be reduced to the question about representations of an even part. So there is no super story here. Can you go back to the question? Is there an inclusion? Christian Gamorphian is injected. But you missed previous lecture, so just... <laughs> 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 so you have no right to talk. <laughs> so inversing <laughs> is subjective, right? <laughs> okay. The image of Christian Gamorphian is all pre-manuals. They do, they do, they do, and we proved it last time. I, don't, I want to move. <laughs> okay, so next definition, which is in a slightly different form, it appears first in the paper of Kasha Kimoto, is the following. The typicality is dimension of the fiber. is called the typicality degree of corresponding central character okay. um, and the type of sky lambda we know that this is the maximum number And then we can consider also the 
requirements are going to be okay. You can see that. In a both those cases, we have so-called block decomposition. So here, of course, we want to pick up the central characters which contain the integral elements, and then there is a the block decomposition for particularly or. So one technical remark which may be a good idea to so order. So laws are blocks. Are full of categories. Of modules with meeting generalized sample character. And I would like to make this one technical remark at this point, so not to go back to it. There is this quality change. Generalized central characters means that, so in principle, the center acts locally finitely, right? But, so that means that for any z in z of g, uh, chi z minus chi of z is equal. So the disparity change thing. Um, is that in yes. the super block? There is a definition of blocks or uh, description of them. Let's define them as blocks, right? <coughs> so that is the theory which I will mention later on. Uh, of course, uh, in category order, if my character is not integral, they are not real blocks because there are some basically further, but I don't want to spend much time on this. So there is this quality change uh, of the it always exists, it's usually denoted by phi of L, and this is just swapping the gradient. The two gradients, sorry. Okay. And the factor, and you can prove whether at least for basic classical algebra, uh, every block chi is actually the direct sum of the chi prime. Let me 
Duarte. It's a verification. is next week. So object. And so I'm hoping that, in fact, they are short of independent. Oh, they, they have some connections, of course, but they are short of independent. And so what I'm going to talk today is some methods which involve usual geometry, not super geometry. And on Wednesday, the two more flat varieties of super case of that stuff. So today I am going to talk about associated variety. And uh, self-committing part. So yeah, do you understand the Roman letters mean methods to solve Arabic? Yes. 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 Some is special. Some of them are still obvious. We have some mysterious. Cash down lipstick. Cash down lipstick. Not now. Okay. Who doesn't know? I will explain some next week. Actually, next week. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so it seems like. Uh, if you uh, uh, if you remember Sasha's talk, there is a very important call, which is called the important common characteristic P, right? And here we also have an important one, which is slightly easier, because I believe representation theory, at least finite dimension representation theory of super algebras, is slightly easier, slightly simple than characteristic P, but still dangerous. So what is a self convincing one? This is defined for any super algebra. And this is an old set of all the elements of the superalgebra such that x computator with x is zero. Yeah. And this is just usual, uh, uh, the list of laws. <coughs> Yeah. 
Um, the notion is that it can be disconnected with all components of the same language. Yes, I could imagine reducible components. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So we have a bijection. Between I just write down x over p0, meaning so find orbits of p0, and x, which I just defined before, this subsets of groups. This B zero orbits or G zero? No, so you're doing G zero orbits. There corresponds to the pairs. Okay. Yes. Okay. And G zero orbits are corresponding to double the orbits in S. Okay. Yes. Okay. And actually, the proof which I know, unfortunately, I don't have very conceptual proof. So what I did first, I put so this theorem. Me, I, I, don't, I don't understand the statement. So X as a G action on it, what is the I'm saying that it has finitely many B zero orbits and therefore of course finitely many G zero orbits, right? Yeah. And therefore it has to be G zero orbits. Okay. Yeah. And therefore for this <coughs> I don't understand the role of the super algebra G in this theorem, that's all. There's no role. This is X. X depends on the superalgebra, right? X depends on the superalgebra as a self commuting code. Ah, I but see. I'm sorry. I see. As I said, today it would be the usual geometry. Super geometry will be next time. Okay. okay. I was but of course, of course, so, uh, the definition of the cone depends on the superalgebra question, right? Okay. And then, then it's clear, right? So you're going to get some, something interesting even after we, I promise. No. So the proof actually, a proof like this. 
And that was not so difficult because there is quite a many sets. And unfortunately, I don't have nice conceptual proof. We should exist. Right? But then from here to here, I actually tend to have some conceptual proof because I just use the your uh, decomposition of the okay. So what? That's what. <coughs> so you see that the gain is data of these isotropic interior double roots is at the bottom data in the very different settings. Mm -hmm. It's the set statement. Uh, what is XP? Yeah. Ah, okay. So it's just this to respondents, right? So XP is just a by-action with SP. And I'm saying that each XP consists of the orbits of the same. They are different orbits. They are not the orbits. The polarizers are different, but they are all orbits. So it's not a full speed. What is speed? So it's speed is a very fun.
Orbit is a super variety. Which one? I okay. I can uh, with uh, okay. So you don't have Chevalier's theorem, do you? About uh, no, but listen. What I do have here is an algebraic supergroup applied to certain elements of the representation. Even yeah, in the given element of the representation, and then you have a nice variety is stabilized <coughs> uh, of x and g, and there is now general theorem, I think, due to Zutkov, well, yeah, anyway, so this I know is the super variety I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. And what I'm saying that this super variety is a nice structure, and this nice structure is this odd symplectic, it's odd symplectic variety. Which are, by the way, quite important in physics, but this is a science. So if you want, I describe simply leaves in the uh, point joint representation um, with changed pairs. In a way, this is what we describe here. So anyway, what I wanted to just the formula for this thing. This 
is exactly, so for each x, I have x associated to this means that the x is the uh, element for just one. X. Yes, I'm sorry. Right. At this moment, I so all before up to this part was another case, but the last one is this formula is one from uh, solve combination formula. Ah, the p is for any x. This, this is for any x. Any order. Any order. And the last one of what x from x. So that's all I wanted to say about geometry of this core. So generic axis corresponds to the highest. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is the biggest orbit. So in particular, as we have this the cell calculation form itself. Dimension. Dimension. What did you say? Dimension. Oh, sorry. Dimension. This delta one divided by two. All the set of four rows divided by two. So this is the point that x squared, so we are actually in L, 
We respect it on look at it as just. A of x over x squared normal. And representation theory of such an algebra is terribly simple. So m can be written as mx plus some free model. And the same for m. When I want any tensor with the free model, I get the free model from the other. Did you just say that three module is killed by the X factor? Same, very, very, very simple thing. This is very simple for being yourself. If you want it, Z to greater. Okay. In this case, it is all the help. So when I change that, I mean. You mm -hmm. X of the three modules. Ah, MX and MX are trivial. <coughs> so if you compare this definition, there is this definition, people who know there is this definition of rank variety in characteristic P, we have some advantage. In characteristic P we cannot say take on homology. Here we can. Yeah. I thought I 
associate certain shape, which is generated by L tilde. What is this? I take L. I take the um, the trivial shape, coherent shape, trivial, quasi coherent shape, in general, right? M tends to be <coughs> X, and this is the shape on X. And when I have a differential there, D, so at each point, D is just X, right? So this is given by X. Is it all linear? It is all linear, yes. D, the point X. And you can write it down. And this way, you associate the shift. <coughs> if I have a spotted dimension, no, this is going to be uh, G0 P1 and P2. Uh, sorry, uh, it is not clear that it maps. So, so if we talk a function, a uh, regular function on x, but we're using L. Is it theta downstairs as a D? It's D as a same D. This is the definition of <coughs> I just D. Yes, this is just the definition. Is it f of some general y? Is it f of some general y, or is it f of u? No, no, it's in each point. So, so it's partial f of D of f evaluated at the point x is just x applied to f of x. Is it, is it any element? Oh, okay. Anyway, you see, x now varies with x. No, okay. So this is okay. So think about it. It's just one of the values in x. Regular algebra. So d f of x, but it's actually action on the shift, right? I want to evaluate the function in x, and then I just apply x to the value of f of x. I think it's all well defined, right? But if I am a the dimensional sample, then I get, I can take now cohomology of f of t, right? So the cohomology of t. This is what I call is MT. Yeah? If M is one dimensional, and of course M tilde is plus a coherent, oh sorry, it's coherent. And G0 to what? This is also clear point because G0 X on that. Okay. And that is clear the support of this shift and tilde is a subset in XM. In general, it's just a subset. But it's a material completion. Because in general, this is not, may, might not be equal. A compression for if M is a module coming from J, is it true that support M tilde equals So I didn't study that much, but maybe it is very interesting, when? actually. You mean, when? No, I think, and the conjecture is that it is always equal. No. If M is coming from a module over G, because in general it might be not. I think this, this embedded is quite obvious. I can leave it as an axis. <coughs> so, but on the other hand, what is this Mx then? If I just pick up, pick up the orbit of and I take my shift, and I restrict it. Yes. Why should it be different? Huh? Why should it be different? Why? Why it might be different? 
Uh, you raised the problem in there. Oh, okay. If you think, I mean... Before you answer this question, can you change the inclusion sign? Your inclusion sign is not the correction. No. Or the smaller? Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe answer in the break, because it's, it's not such a big story, so I'm not sure. Is it support a closure? Or no, in this situation, it's almost closed because M is one dimension. M is one dimension. It's just that I cannot prove it. I don't know. I mean, we can see it and see why it does. And probably now time for the break. Right? Seven minutes. I'm now going to concentrate on this association. F, G, I associate to it M, X, or any X, X, big X, which is a self complete body. So first of all, I'm going to apply this to the case when M is a joint. So maybe <coughs> Minus 2p, 
to L minus 2 P. Then for H2, the rank of X is uh, what? Rank of, uh, are there? rank of X, you remember, we defined the class. Uh, yes, this X is this X. Ah, oh, so okay. okay. It's the same thing. Okay. Uh, so that's what is happening here. And J2, <coughs> of course, well, since the defect is only one, P will be only one. And here we have a so two. And for A is B. Usual. So sometimes my supervisor, when I take two X, becomes a usual real, like a reason. Mm -hmm. So of course, FX is not exact. <coughs> this is kind of important. <coughs> Another important thing about the facts is that it really gives you some correspondence between blocks. And this is the next piece of uh, it's all related now with center. And I'm going to explain now how. But so <coughs> questions? I'm sorry, no. I, I, I wonder about your convention about spam to M. So is uh, is M minus two P that you want? You don't want M minus P. Two P exactly. Two Very P. important. Okay. And for the seventh dimensional family, it is a good thing. It's all too good. Perfect. In what case is being equals one? Yes, in all these cases. The specification is extremely simple. Yeah, no. 
not in a subjective order. But here the image, the image in reality, if you just think a little bit, uh, it's application of this thing right here. And so it is going to be in uh, the object. The image really here. The image, okay, maybe it's exercise, but it's very simple exercise. Lies in the center of universal gravity of this moving out. says if it's a bijection? No, it just says that the image. No, it's not a bijection. I am going to explain now who is this PX. But I now have a very canonical map. It's mean center of both universal and reality algebra of G, and the center of universal and reality algebra of the smaller algebra. It's a nice map. It's actually quite useful map. Yeah, it can be bijection because on the left, yeah. It, it is infinitely generated on the right. Right, it's not. But we're going to say exactly. We're going to say, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the deal map, <coughs> uh, which whenever I have a central character, <coughs> P is the same, so we have here x equals mxp. 
Давайте купаемся в Библии, я скажу, что не пи. Класс, а теперь парите в Библии. Это первый стиль. Это в частности, в имя этого письма. Арвонный центр характеров от Библии мы теперь говорим и пи, и креатор. So what do you mean by number? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Number? You wrote the number of the uh, sorry. Oh, this is a typ. Means a typicality degree of car. Okay, okay. Thank you. You forgot the K over there. Homomorph is a zeta G of X K, right? By injecting on the image, what does it mean? Huh? Inject it on the image. Right. I mean, okay, the fiber. I mean, by jet. By jet. So, so the, the image, the thing is not subjective, right? You have the image, but uh, in, uh, in two cases, just have. <laughs> <laughs> so, the image open? No, it's closed. It's closed. Although, you see, it's not exactly like, you remember that these guys are one of their ingredients. So, all these <laughs> centers are not material. But, 
You wrote the simple roots, but you meant simple like isotropic roots, right? Of course, isotropic. Mm -hmm. right? This is separate thing to check such correct to be. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Yes, because as I already said, so first I look, I do restriction on the kernels of alpha 1 intersection of alpha p. But when I have to quotient by alpha 1 alpha p, but in these directions my uh, central characters are still constant, so it's okay, it's well defined here. Well, uh, so now I have some very important local uh, things. For example, I can say something about the support of any M or associated variety. So one of the corollaries of this theory uh, if M is an of I and the degree of atypicality of chi is P then the support oh or XM associated variety XM is in the closure of the corresponding stratum XP bar remember I had this certification in particular
Non si può usare. Case. Uh, I, I don't know 
know if I have really time to explain this, uh, this particular statement, but it is correct, basically. The Markovian that is correct for many, many superiors, so you don't need any assumption, except that uh, G0 is reductive, but it's not a trick. So I found some quantum examples. So it's, it's actually very interesting thing to find some conceptual proof of this thing. Uh, yeah. So conjecture, if uh, M is finite dimensional, <coughs> simple G module, when Mx is a semi-simple. Yes, 
is a linear operator in F, and I think it's super three. So you get a function of H, of H right? No, but if the algebra is simple, it can say it is the right object. So it's super three, so it's here. Dimension of X and X. X. 
XP, you remember? No, no, about P is like, this is the dimension of Of X, for the measure of X, M in X. Right now. No, it's a whole G. Because if it's typical. In G1? Wait, no, no, if, just, just give me a moment. If X. Yes. Because zero, yeah, yeah. You can calculate this. And then uh, this is one kin one. L kin two. Um, so on a chance, if I speak on a chance, then per M of H is the same as R M X. So using these two things, you can actually prove results. Yeah, for classical things, when does it hold the total of the roots of the I want to. In classical case, what do you mean by the classical case? J and OSP. Or J and OSP. What the question? When do the condition of the theory Ah, for which algebras? Okay. Uh, ah, so assumptions. Okay. Yeah, yeah, assumptions. Somehow we can, yeah, assumptions. It's very easy. It's for JLMN. OSP 2L to L. T21 alpha and AB3. For this is equals. No isotropic. No non isotropic water. Yes, okay. And what is the answer in the remainder? No, I don't remember right now. But the little. Yes, but it's more. I don't remember right now. Well, I think it's uh, time to stop for <coughs> just one remark, verbal remark. So people who do unitary representations, they know that there is this barabash uh, variety associated to the unitary representation. And there is a notion of associated variety. So, um, and then there is a very similar result for associated variety but instead of the order at zero, we look at the order of the tall at zero of the character. So there is a similar statement and the, and the representation, unitary representation theory. And so here, analogy is as follows. I have k plus p decomposition of this maximum complex. I can think about it in this way, g0 plus g1. So when we invented this associated variety, uh, Michel was, the flow was thinking only about unitary representation and this analogy. But there is another beautiful analogy with characteristic P. So we, this statement really has two, two analogs. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to talk about flood varieties for super and some results which you can prove using uh, flood varieties. Uh, and basically, mostly it would be very very good theory on super case. But I mentioned two models briefly. Mm -hmm. Thank you.